Joe Zook. You wanted to beat me down after we had that match won? You think I'm going to stand for this? All you did was light a fire. <laughs> and in that fire, somebody's going to get burned. So I'm requesting a match with me and you in April. I'm talking to RCW management. That was unnecessary. And welcome to another edition of RCW Spotlight. I am your host, your role model, Rick Lee. What are you doing? What are you doing to me, you man? see that thing over there? No, I saw the thing right there. <laughs> and with me, as always, he is the star of the show, the Sicilian Beast, Ken Sermonera. How you doing? I'm doing... And, of course, we got my brother in the way, Mr. Too Damn Thick, Miles Jacobs. Another member of the dysfunctional family. Dysfunctional? We just we just retained... I think we just became we, more we just, functional. We just became more functional mean. than ever. We just got gold. You know what? Firepower, baby. I get it. I get it. He's going to probably poke fun because, A, yeah, I lose my belt. Something. I lost my belt. Okay, it where happens. Get, where, I had you? an off night. You know what? Congratulations to you, Blackhawk. You actually beat me. You deserve that belt. You did well. Now... The six-man tag team, on the other hand, was more like a three-on-four, because I don't know when the hell Animal was invited to the Why? show. Why? What was he doing there? I don't know, but we're going to be talking about a lot of this today, but before we get into any of this, we have a guest, and I'm excited. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited. excited for this one! Right, exactly. Is this the first time you got to be on the show oh, with Animal? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Man. And, I, and I saw him do that do that uh, that promo for the... Um, with Spike for Cold War Two, yeah, about, against Spike. Yeah, wearing my shirt, man. Wearing your shirt. That's right. Oh! Got... Anyway, the retro rock star Stevie Ray is going to be on the show. You did We're going to go ahead. You did it wrong. It's what? the retro rock star Stevie Ray Pim baby. We're going to go ahead and take a commercial. What are you doing? I got a little gift for you. From who? What? It's from, from your you? buddy Mike Smiley. What? Get that out of here. What's the matter? You're losing my one. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. No, give it to me. No, give it to me. All right. All right. Sit. Sit. Give me the ball. Sit. Sit. We're going to go ahead and take the ball. Let's get the ball. Hey, don't break that one. I want that. Yeah, we like that one. We're going to take a break. We'll see you in two minutes and two seconds. TNT Health. Unmasking your potential. So, you want to look like the headline, Vinny DiMazzo? Here's your chance. Let's not be ridiculous. Nobody can look like Vinny. But if you need that energy before your workout, or you want to lose some weight, burn some fat, we got that. You want to build some lean muscle, you can get it at TNT. Or even if you just need the essentials, BCAAs, juiced up, we're here at TNT Health, we carry it all. Come visit us at TNTHealth.com. CW Rubber City Wrestling. Hello, yes, this is Dan Housing. This is Sunny from Glow. The Birdman Coco Beware. Duke the Dumpster Drosen. Gang Grow, and you're watching Rubber City Wrestling. Real pro wrestling. Not that flippy stuff. Get your thrill with the real. Keep banging and banging. Take care and sunny smiles. Catch RCW Spotlight Sundays at RCW Global, Thursdays only on the RCW Network on YouTube. Blackhawk Squadron, a couple of weeks ago I came on here and told you 
that I had a shot at Rick Lee for the RCW Global Television Championship. Well, guess what? Blackhawk is now your Global Television Champion. Now, Rick had this title for a little over a year and a half. And he defended it plenty of times against rookies, against students, and anybody else that he knew that he could beat without thinking about it. Or if anybody gave him a challenge, he did what he normally would do, is he would cheat. Well, being that the Global Television Championship is one of the very few open weight championships in Rubber City Wrestling, I'm now going to open this up. Anybody on the RCW roster, if you want a shot at the Global Television Championship, let me know. Anytime, anywhere, we're going to make this championship mean something. So if you want a shot at Blackhawk, then you let me know and we will let you take a shot to try to be the RCW Global Television Champion. Welcome back to RCW Spotlight. Our guest today needs no introduction because he's the man. He actually went up against Spike St. James yesterday, and I feel he was robbed of another chance of winning the championship. You get robbed a lot here, and that's not cool, by the way. I was robbed, too. I think you probably noticed that. But anyway, Spotty! Figure eight, Pim. Fuller family. Great friend of the way. You know, honestly, love Brett Fuller. Oh, you know, if he ever goes free agent, man. Well, you know what? That I'm was, just saying. Brett, Brett already does. knows the way. We're all friends, and that's all that matters. And that's a good closer thing. than most people out there. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, how are you doing? Honestly, not too good, man. I agree. What, what happened to you? Tell us. Oh my gosh, I forgot you were here. Yeah. You're so quiet. I, well, I'm pretty sure we just told everybody. I went in the ring with Spike. Maybe didn't get screwed as much as Crowley with the officiating. Spike just got a little lucky, to be honest. Ducked a move, hit me with the move I wasn't seeing coming. He got lucky. That's all it was, Ken. Just luck. I'd rather yeah. be lucky than good. Right. So, uh, for I people that don't know, you. yesterday, um, or yesterday, <laughs> when we got to learn. Last week, week. Oh, man. Well, week. listen, I'll tell you what. It feels like yesterday, because let me show you something. Oh. I'm still scarred up oh. from my match, okay? Oh. That's some Draven Post stuff going on there. It looks oh, like you remember, wish. remember that? Yeah, so <laughs> I'm still scarred up from this match. I'll tell you that right Ooh. now. And and, and it's That's still brutal. and it's been hurt. It's well you gotta accept first of all Mike Smiley does first hit of hard. All, yeah. Low blow for Mike Smiley to even send that stupid ball here, okay. knowing damn well that th it is documented that uh, it should be an a, an automatic disqualification if anybody chops me in the chest because I had heart surgery and Tony T said that that's how the rules should be. That, now, that's a crime. It's not, attempted murder. Right? Right? My oh, ribs oh, you can't are wired a mortal person. Obviously, but. he didn't hurt me with them, but the facts are still the facts. You don't chop your role model after having heart surgery. Not cool. Second, At least attempted murder charges. I would say... Right. I would say... You, you know, can't kill an immortal person, though. I'm pretty sure Spike cheated against you, by the way. I'm just saying. I'm not trying to I'm going to doubt it. I'm just saying what had happened. You didn't see what he did, but he cheated. What had happened, though, is... 100%. He didn't see what he did, but he felt he's, what he's he did. He's a fast little guy, okay? Right. Spike, Spike's like a, like oh, a little I've pencil. It's you know? a little weasel. He's fast, and he's what deceptively I, strong. What I think had happened is as I was running towards him, the wind might have blew him a little bit. Oh, And he was able works. to duck, mm, and then I, I, yeah. I was already had too much momentum, hit my chest. He took advantage. Yeah. That's all it was. He knew I was matching him move for move, and he took a cheap shot. Saw me with my back turned, had it lined up. I wasn't ready for that. No. And he punched me in the face. That's illegal. By the way, hey, can I yeah, close with a close fist? Like a close fist. Oh, that face, is cool. that face is a treasure, number one. National treasure. Oh, hey, no, ladies. Oh, that, 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 close, ladies. Nose. Yeah. Listen, that's the only way to get you to shut up. Anyway, listen. Join us next week with another edition of Excuses I Can Make. I wait, think he's wait, just wait. jealous that we all wait, have wait. air. Time out. Oh, you sound like John wait, wait, wait. Belushi and the, the Blues Brothers. Hold on. I can't help it. I'm late. I got a flat tire. Sorry. My mother died. Wait a second. I ran out of gas. Wait a second. You're over here. It's not my fault. I'll tell you. It's there not goes. my fault. There what what goes, happened with Why, you? John? Why? What happened with, what happened with Team Beast? Beast yesterday? Didn't you guy get jumped? Didn't Crowley get his butt kicked? Where were you? Where were you at? Why weren't you out there to manage him? I didn't you know, know because you do zero for your own team. You know that? And you're over here belittling us? Like, what the heck, man? You're I, a little bit of spicy I, I, right right I was told the other team didn't have a manager. All of a sudden, oh, look. 
So you thought you didn't have to do your job? No, you said don't go out. Man, this is the... Did you guys uh, rig hey, another match? Hey, and this is... But they still won. And this is why I didn't they join didn't Team... Yeah. And this is why I didn't join Team B. But listen, because listen, there's zero support. Listen, listen. In fact, there's not a lot of pay either. They won the match, but they lost the war. You don't lose no war. Oh. You win the match, you don't lose a war. That looked like a war zone out there to is, me. Is it... Crowley, did Crowley, or did he not, get checked into a hospital the next day? Did he walk out? Yes, I get that. Thank but you. he still had to get checked okay. in there to see if he had broken ribs, correct? Right. And were they broken? No. Bruise and if really they bad. He'd come back next bru- hey, anyway. Bruises are a lot worse than breaks. Sometimes, yeah, on they ribs. Hurt. On ribs, only reason oh. they weren't broken. As somebody who's broken his ribs, out. though, that hurts really bad. Okay, it hurts really bad. When they did the surgery on me, they they cracked two ribs. The fact of the matter is, though, is you weren't there, though. Still, you said yeah. you all on the. You I, I didn't have your a manager. Team. You could have still came out and helped Crawley. I came out. No, no, no. I see, wouldn't let him know. I think again. he's scared. I think he's scared to face uh, or have any uh, contact with anyone other well, than he wants. Okay, on his retirement match, well, now he thinks he doesn't have to do it. Who won? Who won? Who wow. else? You re- you managed the kill shot crew and the uh, yeah. It was, it was a quick win. Yeah, it was okay. But who would you really? Well, I mean, who 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 would they fuck? Come on, Dick Whiskey and. The Russian guy. What, what what's the name of their team? The Macho Maxi Dick guy. or something like yeah. that. Dick Macho or you know something like Dick that. Dick Vinsky or something. Oh, right. It's Dick Vinsky and Grudo El Macho. I think together you call themselves like Macho Dick or something like that. Really weird name, by the way. I don't know if that's really their name, but I've just named them. Strange in general. You know, I uh, so them with those like weird like championship pouches or whatever they're, those were. They're like buffoons, man. They they're coming out with pooch pouches. Yeah. Literally, the freaking the one dude was like packs. handling out like they come out with fanny packs or something like that. Fanny packs, and they had Cheetos, is what I was told this by is the, the fans. Most time that they'll ever get talked about. Why are we even talking? We're about done them? talking about <laughs> them. You're right. You're right. Bunch of jokes. So, uh, so, when, so, what you guys actually went like zero and three, and then a guy that won said, "Okay, I'll join you." Well, who? Because I'm special. Wait, wait, wait. Well, the guy who won. All right, your new guy, Cody Reaper. Yes. Which congratulations. There's on another win here. You got Cody Did Reaper. Yeah, he won. I thought the butcher got him. No, the butcher got stew gods. Okay, stew gods. Dang it! I don't like that. That's a that's a kind of meat in Italian. Just take my word for it. Go ahead. You no, know. yeah, it's not a kind of meat. I think it, I think the, <laughs> it's I think a kind the, of meat. The non Italians have no idea what you're talking that's about a, here. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not we're, we're not giving in. That's yeah. fine. To have hey, your secrets. That's the only thing that me and him are going to do on our. Oh, we, we, we have your secrets. We got. We 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 got to do that anyway. So yeah, well, you're not gonna tell him. I said he didn't get Dick. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. It's right. not me. <laughs> not Ken. I'll me. say this is a. Really but his name good is drink. Dick Pinsky. You enjoying? This is a really good drink. Yeah. You know, that's a and cool a cup. Really good cup. I, I, I like how you gave all of us one. Ooh, right. Oh. Um. Well, you get discounts because you know. Okay. I'm, good looking out. I, I'm a cheap guy. They're giving you really three, cheap. Three percent off. All right. So here here's the deal. Twenty five dollars per. That's all it is. Like this guy is so to... cheap. How cheap is he? He still has his communion money, okay? Oh, my goodness. So do I. I believe I'm going to have to get Brett Fuller to <laughs> invest in some of those there, because we definitely need some of those at the right. Fuller yeah, yeah, Absolutely. House. Those are nice. Yeah. All right, listen. So other matches that took place. Um, any any belts changed? No. Un- well, at the time, I thought it was unfortunate, because I had no clue what Max Gordon does doing. But unfortunately... Yeah, what At the he? time, Lex Vegas, who I wanted to see win, because I like Lex Vegas, he's a good guy, um, lost to Schizo, who we all kind of took Schizo anyway. Yeah. But then Max Cortez, who's such a beautiful, beautiful man. Great soul. Great soul. So, that's, that's so, your idea of beautiful, man. All right. So, so intelligent. Such a great man. Okay. He may be he, intelligent, man. He, he went beautiful. up and he, 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 I, he told his brother... Let I had no idea what on. he was doing. No, the only no one, one did. Tony T did. Tony really? T said was Tony was T in. really on that? Yeah, Tony T said he oh. did. Because they were doing it together. It, 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 this was a negotiation together. I, I love that Tony T Christmas came late. is a boy guy. Christmas you know? came late for us. Yes. Christmas came late. I love Tony T. Right. Well, he loves Brett Fuller's family, too. You know what I'm saying? He's a great so, guy. So Always that, looking where, out where, for me, doing what I Where's Brett Fuller? Uh, uh Brett? Brett stayed what away. Happened? Brett said he doesn't want to go into an arena. Spike threatened him, and, and Brett, Brett was worried that Spike was going to, you know, do something. I was so. going to cover it up with a good COVID story. Well, I want to make Brett look good. Brett knew well, no, I mean, he didn't want, to, Brett he didn't want any legal things. You know, well, he, he didn't want to... fi- Brett doesn't invite, he manages. And exactly. that, that's where he's good at. I get it. Right. I 100% get it. He, he didn't He didn't want to I worry about Brett. Spike. I, Brett, I told him. I told him to you stay know? back. I'll take care of Spike. Granted. Didn't exactly work out the way I wanted to. 
It's on my checklist, though, still. Oh, by the way, next time, Brett will be there with you. I guarantee you. 100%. Well, yeah, yeah, next time he's got to be there with revenge. me. Right. I think that was the issue, is he wasn't down there with yeah, me. Yeah, you should have told him. Hey, I was Spike had all his fan girls out there. The existence of a manager works wonders. I'm just so, saying. So, question, though. Spike won the belt, but what's up with his old lady? Did you take her home that night? I'd rather not, you know. Oh, let's not tell, talk about you know it. I get it, I get it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's, just, let's just say someone's mom was having fun last no, night. No, dude. Oh. Her last week, I should say. <laughs> That's what's been lasting a while. It's 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 every night, but you know, I just right. had to remember which mom I was talking about. <laughs> so, I love this. This is why I love them. Oh my gosh! Hey, oh, hey, man, when you're a retro rock star, you got ladies all the time. Oh, right? unlike Ken. Wow, you're like Ken. All right, now, unlike Ken. Okay, I, 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 I gotta like ask you. a question though. Merciless. I, I love JD Smooth. Yeah, and, I, and Marcus Knight's my guy. But what's going on with him, man? Is he bipolar? Has he got split personality disorder? Bipolar one. He him and, like him he and Schizo, sl- you know. But Schizo, by the way, is in the way. We got world championship gold down the way again. Yeah, we got it. Which you tried to, you know, downplay, by the way. So, yeah, you tried Who would you get to join we're, the team? Only the champion. world champion. Yeah, we got the world champion. You got Cody Reaper. Congratulations. I think we got the better. For- so, so how many matches? I'll give you credit. How many good total drink, matches did you really win? We got a, one. The champion defended his belt successfully. That don't count. But the most important What do you mean it don't count? count? He didn't join before the match. Ah, uh, but I think, he, I think, I think How do you know that? How do you know it wasn't planned before apparently, it came apparently out? Apparently Max knew. Apparently Tony T knew. Tony T came out with a shirt, so he was confident. Wow. Yeah, This wow. is delicious, by the way. Can you imagine? Instead of imagine? Imagine? you what, should stick to Mark. Yeah, I was just going to say the same thing. What's, what's yesterday's date? I don't know. Whatever yesterday's date was, or last like last down, Saturday, I don't keep track last Saturday night. It's, it's no, March. That's all I know. That's what gonna be? be nothing date because they're celebrating nothing. You know what? Speaking of I celebrating, we're celebrating nothing. everything. We got the Steve. Speaking got Steve of celebrating Rosemary. nothing, let me go ahead and pull, pull, call this out right now. I don't care if it's Die Hard the Hunter, who I'd really like to get my hands on his little greasy midget ass. I don't care if it's Animal, and I don't care if it's that cheater Mike Smiley. Any one of you guys, Animal, you had no business sticking your nose in our business. Your has-been who had to go and leave the way because he didn't like Vinny stealing his thunder. I don't care. My You're trainer, by the way. By the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, been, your, your yeah, been going yeah. to the gym with Vinny a lot, Ow. pumping Ow. it up. You see Spike trying to overdo it. Oh, you know what, wow. though? I will say this. You know what, Animal? Stay at home. Matter of fact, because Vinny wants you. I'm glad you brought that up. Vinny told me, he's like, Rick, don't, don't go after Animal. I owe him one. So I'm going to go ahead and say this. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. I don't know if the bookers will allow it to happen or not. But I'm going to beg this to happen. I want, or Vinny wants Animal. I know that for a fact. And I know you said you want Lionheart, right? Mm. Yes, I do. Okay. Well, I want either Die Hard the Hunter or Mike Smiley. Wait, who's Lionheart? You mean Kitty Hart? No, he's a cowardly lion. I've watched. No, he's a, he's a little tiny. Get that away from me. You know, by the time I'm done with him, though, I want to be a straight cat. I'll take it. I, honestly, I wouldn't mind having any of them. You know, they got they all had us fooled. I, I'll give them credit. They oh, had us fooled. They, I thought they, they was a they, dysfunctional they, family online. The wool. And then they come out there, and all of a sudden, they're buddy buddies, and it just drove me nuts. Did you see? Did you see felony and uh, Rory felony Angel going at it? Yeah, exactly. That was surprising. Uh, I knew felony was in the punk man. She'll take but, on any girl. Like that was that, that was a high spot. But, but I like that. Justin Justin Sider, what's he supposed to do against Animal? Justin Sider's right. a manager. Yeah, there's nothing and, he can and, do. And Animal, and Animal slapped me in my face, over top my shoulder. I didn't and, even know you were behind me. And then he punched me and threw me in the ring so that they can. <laughs> why wasn't this? Why didn't they, they get this qualified? We should have won that. You know Number one, it was. Get... Here's another thing. When the color commentator, the special guy, I don't even know his name. Oh, Bias Mike Yes, yeah, he's over there interfering in matches left and right, it looked like. Really? That's what I saw. He interfered in your guys' match, didn't he? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I it was his belt that I had in my hand. Because he was trying to give it to them, and I grabbed it away, I believe. And uh, and then that way, and that's why oh. I don't want, and then Yeah. Yeah, that's the story. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was, I was at that time. <laughs> Whatever you say. At that time, nice. I was, I was kicking Lionheart's ass uh, out by concessions. So I have no idea what happened over there. Okay. Made him a hot dog. I heard. Anyway, they were actually sold out of hot dogs with just the bun. Oh, they sold. I out, made him eat my bun. They sold out all the food. All of it. 
Big shout out. Pizzas, Big man. shout out. So like I told you, man. Retro rock star comes to town. Money right. flows. Yeah, yeah and and buddy. Uh, shout out to the fans on that one. As much as I really don't care about your opinion. And the concession and, staff. Know, you guys, the concession staff. We was care about us your how money. Much you guys kicked butt. That's all we care so, about. You know, and, and the bar lady, she said, I didn't get to take, She, I guess she had to pee like before the Zero show. Zero breaks. And she didn't get the a break. Time. She said from 3.30 until the event ended, she was selling drinks. Because oh. it was a hot show, you know. There's yeah. a lot of people I may not like, but everyone delivered last Well, the week. thing that cracks me up is VIPs didn't come in until 4, so that means there's a bunch of wrestlers' families, because the wrestlers' families come in earlier. Drinking, so they were already blitzed. Oh, I, I know my fa- I know my family came in. They were plastered, they were absolutely plastered. Well, uh, you know me when I hold get on plastered. A second. I gotta ask the producer's name, uh, real quick. Just, just uh, one of you say what are you? Um, what was the name of the sponsor? The lady that showed up there. We should give her a shout out. Oh yeah, big crowd. Candace Merton Bradbury. Candace Bradbury. Candace Merton Bradbury. Candace Merton Bradbury. Shout out to her. Yeah. Um, Big shout out. I guess, you know, and, and, you know, again, they probably booed us, but it, it doesn't matter because they obviously don't know talent. Hey, they, say hey. they cheered on Crowley. Wow. <laughs> did Crowley win? Oh, yeah, he won. Yeah. No. Oh, my God. I mean, did he win? Thank you very much. Like, I don't think yeah. he won. I think he may have won, I but mean, he definitely you, lost. You spend the night in the hospital. Yeah, right. Exactly. Right. I, think, I think Dr. Phil would call this. Delusional behavior. Oh, shut up, Dr. Phil. Wasn't Dr. Do- wasn't Dr. Phil proven to be a fake doctor? Wow, this guy's a fake hey, manager. I'm a real doctor. Ask my wife. Just call me Dr. Love. Ooh, baby. Anyway, Lieb means love in German. I'm just being honest. <laughs> Look it up. If you don't believe me, Lieb means love in German. This Go is ahead. the third time this year this guy made me throw up in my mouth. Okay. What'd you throw up in your mouth? Dad jokes. You're I got them all day. Drinking too much. That's what it is. You know, speaking of drinking too much, this is delicious. I think I want another. You know what that tastes like? More. That's what it tastes like. You're right. Wow. That's the first with, time we've agreed today. With that being said, I'm gonna leave, dear. It also means love. Dear, t- uh, sweet, kind. Um, we sure that's the. Okay, I you. think yours is wrong. Anyway, because it doesn't obviously describe me at all. Yeah. Here we go. Ready for this? Next event. RCW presents Wanted. It's going to be April 23rd at the Akron Turner Club. And <laughs> there's a good chance we may be going monthly. Not at the Akron Turner Club. We'll be going to another place to do it. So we're going to take our show on the road a little bit. But it, it, I heard that tickets <clears throat> for the other show might be a little cheaper, too. That's a possibility. possibility. We don't know that we yet. We don't know yet. Un- yeah. Unconfirmed information. Un- well, why is that? Because we don't know. Because they don't serve alcohol. <laughs> no, no alcohol. Room. Unfortunately. Yeah. But uh, happens. Dry show. Know, dry show means that's mine. I'll be pouring it in your cup. I don't need your AIDS. Holy stuff. You just drink two of those? All right, anyway, so that'll be the next show. We're going to go ahead and take our commercial break. But when we come back, we're going to take your questions. I can't get enough of this vanilla stuff, man. Do you like it? Are you looking for a job? I mean, seriously, do you want a J-O-B? Then get a hold of ASAP Staffing. ASAP Staffing is located in Barberton, Ohio, 165 2nd Street, Northwest. Phone number is 330-615-2477. Would you like to see your commercial aired on both RCW Spotlight and RCW Global? Contact us on social media at facebook.com slash Rubber City Wrestling, Instagram at Rubber City Wrestling, or email us at the RCW Network at gmail.com. RCW Rubber City Wrestling. Wake up out there! This is the outcast Shannon Moore. Mr. Technical Barry Horowitz. Typhoon the Shockmaster and the B-A-Double-D. This is Chad Saylor, and you're watching Rubber City Wrestling. Real pro wrestling. If you don't believe me, ask me. I'm Magnum TA and that's some straight talk with the boss. Catch RCW Spotlight Sundays and RCW Global Thursdays only on the RCW Network on YouTube. Ooh, baby. Welcome back to RCW Spotlight. Are you guys going to be all right? 
You're getting us blitzed tonight. What is wrong with you? I got a flight. He's got a good. He's got a flight to make. He's in a good mood, isn't he? That's right. Oh yeah, you sir. Well, listen. He's in a good mood because he signed freaking uh, Cody Reaper. We're in a good mood because we got. Schizo with the way. And, and Stevie Ray's here. We're in a great mood because oh, Stevie yeah. Ray's on the show. It's so, I mean, it works out really good. But it's that time of the show, fans. You've got questions. We got answers. Now, if you'd like for us to answer your questions on the air, feel free to write us at facebook.com forward slash RCW Spotlight. No. Hopefully they're nice. <laughs> yeah. Good questions, please. Because a lot of you morons keep writing in. And it, it honestly, it just shows your intelligency level, and we really don't like that. Okay. Ken, and what do we got? Too. Here's no the first statements. question. What is your dream match, RCW and wrestling name, dead or alive? What's wrestling name mean? Uh, I, I'm thinking that other wrestling other than RCW. Are they saying hey, we're not names? That's that's from we the, have names. That's for uh, Christine Zwick. Young First of all, Ohio. I've turned down WWE. Okay. Well, yeah, because you what? Uh, 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 you know, because I wasn't allowed to have my sign on the road. Yeah. And I I was in the middle of a custody battle, and so I turned them down. And apparently, they don't like me because of that. Uh, it happens. I mean, some people would rather be a father than a wrestler. You did the right thing. You did the right. They they did good because they ended up because they wanted a guy that looked like Eminem. And apparently, in their mind, I knew. <laughs> and they wanted a guy that knew how to or rap. Or Justin Bieber, And actually, right? I have my own rap album. Yeah, it's and weird that the John Cena started. Okay, I'll just keep telling the story. Uh, and then, about a year and a half, two years later, instead of having the guy that looked like John Cena coming down to the ring rapping, they had a guy that looked like Marky Mark come down to the ring rapping. His name is John Cena. In my opinion, he did a better job than what I would have done. Very really good. So, they, they, they made the right choice. And, in a way... Or, or in a way, they made the right choice, and I made the right choice because I got to keep my son, and I won the custody battle. Now, had I lost the custody battle, I'd have been called up like, "Can I please go?" But I didn't. You did good. And See that? I remember. I have to be mean every time. I remember. I play it. I remember. I love you, Ken. You're a good guy. I remember protecting you. Drunk. I remember protecting your son in high school. Yeah, I know. You guys with that? Yeah, people yeah. don't know this. He went to school with my son. This you is what he's like. My nephew. For him. Yeah, my son my son had like um, back surgery and a bunch of different he had a lot of medical issues and right. stuff. And Did they, they have scoliosis or something? Yeah, scoliosis really bad. surgery. Yeah. And he's got rods from the bottom to the top. Good lord. And so this man here was like he, he would come over and he would this is how long this man's been dedicated. This is why he's in the way. He would come over to our house as a child and he'd be like, Role model, can you train me a little bit? I would show him stuff. Plus I was studying at the time. Um, Jeet Kune Do. And so while I'm studying that, I'm showing him stuff like that as well. So we really, he, this man is a lot better than you guys think he is. And while I'm getting old and starting to fade away in the eyes of people, they don't realize I'm staying young because I'm keeping young around me. So I'm a smart man. Just uh, understand that. That's why I'm there. Producer, don't tell me I'm talking too much ever again. Go on. All right, our next question. What was the first question? Yeah, you didn't even, like, no one got to answer that question. What was the question? No, he, come in with a... What was the question? A beautiful... I don't even remember what the question was. No, I don't the either. question is... I am completely gone. Right. That's because he's getting us drunk. I am completely, completely gone right now. Some people can't hold their liquor. Okay. Yeah, Who is your it? dream match? Yeah, I'm holding it right now. See? So okay. is it is it RCW and yeah, outside? Yeah, real quick. I mean, okay. one more name. All right, let's go. Uh, probably, get... pro probably Spike St. James or Alexander Crawley, so I can, you know, show them how it's done. Okay. Uh, that's like probably that. RCW. I like it. Hey, and, you know what uh, I say? I'll... Good for you. How are you, how are you going to ask me a question and interrupt me? I said good for you. Shut up, old man! Age bias going on are here. Are you done? No, we're going to report him to the authority. I should get upset I... with the old man Anyway, and then outside. You're not, you're not pro... as old as him. Yeah, you're right. That's okay. I, I, I respect yeah. you. Go on, keep going. I love you, brother. Outside, anyway, outside, you outside you probably be like D'Lo Brown or something. He was one of my favorite wrestlers growing up, and it's a dream. Definitely would love to get in the ring with D'Lo at least once. Just so I can, you know. He play football. D'Lo's you know, a good guy. D'Lo's a good guy. Yeah. I'd love to fight him. I got to meet him at the CAC. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you know. I'm going kind, this year. Kind of, kind of told Are him. you? I'm going. I got vacation, baby. Nice. All right, we partying. Oh, Vegas. hell yeah. You guys, Vegas a bound. Of, a lot of people don't know this. This is my Vegas brother. Oh, yeah. Right? You know, so, and... and yeah, I mean, 
There you know where he goes. We're 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 always together and stuff. I wanna go I wanna go to that burger place. You know Wall burgers? You know what Yeah, the place with the the, the, the girls smack your butt. No, 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 oh, that's that's, not that's the heart attack grill. That's a heart attack grill. He got smacked there last year. He won't I even saw the video. It's great. <laughs> he won't even have to pay, huh? No, no, if you're over 370 that, pounds, I think it is. I forget what it was. Wow. No, wait, really? you're not 370. No, I'm 320, only 300, right? Oh, 300. 300. Who the hell's 300? We're close. 20, then? Well, not Go close. out and get a hamburger and get Stevie one, too. Okay. Okay, anyway. Yeah? <laughs> and get Spike. Anyway, anyway uh, next, next people. Yeah, speaking uh, of 300 pounders, I was shocked that Blackhawk came in at 298. He so actually got in some actually, shit for that. He actually, He's a big boy. He actually. Well, did. no, he was 320. He's down to 398. Yeah. I was expecting a big fat slob that I was going to be able to wear out. So he got me on that one, but I trust me, I'll get my stuff Did back. you hear what they called Spike when he first came out? They said he was like close to almost 300 pounds or something. Oh, that was said, hilarious. Oh, uh, we, at first, uh, I was about to say he better forfeit the title because he's yeah. on the weight limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you know, granted, they, they corrected them. Wait, they, they said they said like two ninety something. What? Yeah, I was gonna say. I turned around like, well, why are we having this match? I should just win the belt. <laughs> right, just hand it over. Yeah. Oh, I granted, said, they corrected they, themselves. They, they, then you looked at him, you're like, oh wait, wait, he shouldn't There's be fighting. No we got smoke. <laughs> wow. Oh my, that's great. Right. That's a great story. Yeah, but anyway. What about, what about you, buddy? RCW outside uh, of wrestling. RCW, uh, I'd like to get my hands on, have a match with uh, Lionheart in a cage. Yeah, oh, that would be nice. That would be great because I get. The... Oh, I like that you added with the cage. Oh, in the cage, hundred percent. You know what? Well, I heard that line right. apart. That way, the, his his little girlfriend uh, or whatever, can't his little girlfriend, or his his dishwasher talking of a wife, can't can't interfere. You know, Mouthful I get that. I models. have him. In, I have him in the cage. Right? He can't escape punishment outside RCW. There's two men that one one is dead and I'm not sure I don't actually I'm pretty sure he's Just still alive. Just go with the other one I'll let you know. Okay. So I would my dream match for outside RCW, Chris Benoit. That would who I, so obviously has passed away. That was your favorite wrestler growing up. One though. of my favorites. Next to me. And then Dean Malenko. Dean Malenko's still, still alive. still alive. He was great. He was his, great. His, his career's he, dead, but he he's most alive. most of most of my chain wrestling. Dean Malenko's story, okay? So we're at a okay. bar at an after party. Okay. And Dean Malenko's sitting at the bar. Girl sits down next to him. And I'm over, I'm sitting down at the table. I'm with Perry Saturn. I'm with uh, um, Brian Christopher, rest in peace. And, you know, we're talking football, and Perry Saturn's just really drunk, so we're kind of just making fun of him. Perry and, Saturn and drunk would be Dean so Dean Malenko's fun. sitting at the bar. Some lady sits down next to him. She goes, hey, you're famous, aren't you? And he's like, And she goes, how do I know you? And he's just like. <laughs> what? And she goes, she goes, come on, honey, don't you want to talk to me? And he goes, showed his ring finger. And she goes, point taken. Got up, walked away. He got up and sat in a little corner so that no one would mess with him again. She was a she was a ring rat. She came over and he let her know, hey, I'm a married man. Stay the hell away. What a class act. I thought yeah. so too. You know what? Yeah. Right. Yeah, the the applause for Perry Saturn. Yeah, exactly. That's what, <laughs> that's what we're all talking about. Perry Saturn. Get drunk when you're at an after party. It's called after party for a reason. But none of them were better than Sean Waltman. But we'll go into that story some other time. Yeah, I got the one plant. more. I got the one plant. more dream opponent actually. Only because I'm sick of being compared to him. Chris Jericho. I don't look nothing like him. Way better looking than him. Way better looking. Way better, looking. Way better shape. You know, Way Chris better Jericho, voice. Chris Jericho reminds me of a soccer mom. That's what he looks like to me. <laughs> I don't know. That's AJ me. Styles. Leave him alone. Great worker. Really bad hair. And I don't know. No. I heard that that man's a scripter. I heard he wasn't a real wrestler like us. Really? That's what I heard, man. I heard he was like an actor. It really know. bothers me. You know, WWE the haircut's bad, actors. though. The haircut is bad, though. Yeah, I like the better short hair. Yeah, Next question. All right. Wait, oh, wait, wait. Did, did I answer? Did we, we didn't answer. Holy crap. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, I like what the hell, answer. guys. All right. Well, my real dream match would have been him. I think it's it fine. I think it is. Here, I'll answer fine. half of mine. Same thing. Right. Gotta be cage. It would have been. It Gotta be a cage. Oh, hell no. I wouldn't wrestle him in a cage. Oh, yeah. He would have killed me in a cage. No. Regular <laughs> match. Let me have my. Break, because <laughs> I need the powder to let him wear out. But, all right. Here's the deal. We wrestle in a cage. I'm pretty sure you beat me. If it's your prime, me prime. We wrestle out of a cage, I'm pretty sure I beat you. Really? Because I know ways to wear a pretty What about a chain match? Ooh, I, I want like drugs. 
I don't want the the, the, the giant freaking three hundred twenty pound Sicilian beast with a freaking chain in his hand. Normal? A chain match. I love it. Wait, are I you would the do one chained up. Listen, we're chained each other. I would do it. Take, take fist match. What's that? Take, take fist match. There you go. Now that one I would do. That one I would do. What? What, what is the? Uh... Oh gosh. I I need that. All right. What a tape fist match is this? Okay. You get your right hand, and they get tape. And they tape it and tape it and tape it. And you're allowed to use up to, like, what is it, three rolls or something like yeah. that? And so by the time you're done, it looks like you almost have a boxing glove on, but it's solid tape. So it feels like you're being yeah, hit with a rock. Yeah, right? Yeah, and if you got a good enough manager who knows how to tighten that thing down, if you're you're getting hit with a stone. Are you allowed to use the left hand? Um, why, well, are you left-handed? <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you brick it up like that, and you only get one hand that's tape fisted. And then you're, you're 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 wrestling, but that is man, it'd be shame if we were to hide some uh, I don't some know metal I do that, Shut yeah. up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't ever say that again. We would never do that. I don't we know. would never. He, do he that. got the foil. Listen, later. so listen. I've been in a tape fist match, and I was accused of having brass knuckles under the tape. I don't understand where they came up with that. Not Honestly, you. though, the tape would de- right. The tape would de- defeat the purpose of the. Of the nuts. Oh no, it wouldn't. When you put no, you the nuts under there, man, it's because it, the nuts. Just... Not that we know from experience. Now no, we have because, no idea. Because my opponent, I think, used them, and it felt way harder than you remember that. No, your opponent was just that damn. Weak. Anyway, so that would have been my dream match. If you weren't retired, my dream match now. I like your idea of the cage. Die Hard, the Hunter in a cage. Or Did we already do that though. Cage. We did it in a five on five. Oh, that's I, not the same. And you know the funny thing is, we started the match and we ended the match. I was, it was a, uh, I, I, I was in that ring for over an hour wrestling, and I, I opened the match. It was me and him were the first two uh, contestants in it, and me and him were the last two. And then after the match was over, after I beat him fair and square, by the way, leg, then we locked the cage and we all broke his leg. It was a beautiful thing, and we should have kept it broken. And guess what? That's what I want. That's my dream match. Of that. What's that? So you get a picture of that. Frame it. Oh, it's online, my friend. Go ahead and watch that thing. Well, I'm saying get a picture, frame it right there. That's a oh, I was, you, I was you know, there. You know, know I was there. Were you there? Well, you jumped on the top, bro. That's the first time I met you. You're afraid of heights. I'm afraid of heights, heights. I'm not afraid to jump off the top rope with a knee. Besides, when you, when you hate someone so much... They yeah, that fear they, they were doing, The ropes are only five feet high, so I can stand on top of the ropes and jump I, down. I'm afraid of being five feet high. I hate heights. Yeah. Now, I was in a ladder match once, and that sucked. No, and I, I almost got up there to get it, and then all of a sudden, honestly, I think it's you the start only looking way. down, and everything looks tiny, and then you're like, no. And you almost threw up. I think I that's the only down. way to beat you. Uh, to truly a beat ladder you, match, I'll you never a ladder do. Match. I will never sign for a ladder match. Oh. It's not fair because I'm terrified of heights. Yeah, okay. um, as far as mainstream wrestling would be concerned, oh, by the way, any match with Carnage, I. I would that. love to see you against Marty Jeanette. Oh, you've already done that. I've already beaten him. You've already done that. That's right. Yeah, I've already yeah. beaten him. That's right. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe Danny Doring. Oh, already beat him, too. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can't do that one. Um, Long list. Yeah. I'd like to have Jerry the King Lawler in a match. Didn't you? He sucker punched oh, me when I was you, wrestling you, his wife. You wrestled his wife. That's mm-hmm. right, not him. He sucker punched me. When you did what to his wife? Me. I would, I would like to see they got the next, what you? They got divorced the next day. So, yeah, use your imagination. I would like to see you versus Ric Flair. I would I would never wrestle Ric Flair. Why? Because he's my idol. Why would I wrestle the guy I idolized growing up? I don't want to beat him. I want to believe he's better than me. And what happens if I win? But would you? I don't know. That, 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 I, that's, I have all that's, the, that's why it's a dream listen, match. You don't know what happened. It's the goat versus the goat. It would be a great match. You know what? Screw it. Nature Boy, get young. Oh, Mr. Perk. Oh, boy, look at him. Ooh. Kurt you, Henning who is Kurt Henning? For, you versus Kurt Henning would be a good one. You, who is it? Uh, for uh, all times? Stevie Ray yeah. Bruno San Martino. And mm-hmm. I get that. If he's not available because he's dead. Right. Stevie Ray Plim. Yeah, that's right. See? He called you Plim. He called you. That's all right. He knows. Or Femme, or what was it? Oh, stop! Just wait. Just wait. No, no, stop. We could make that a reality. Hey, I can throw you over the bar. Go to the next question, please, Stevie. I can throw you over the bar to get get to him, like over Rick, over the bar, or just just actually. I know you can. I've seen I've seen you in the gym. I've seen you in the gym. (laughs) I know you can. Here's the thing. 
Brett knows that he's got any beef with this man. We'll, we'll keep it. And cool. Brett had told me already. He's like, look. That's why we, Rick has to sit between us. We don't wrestle for free. That's Brett's exact words. That's true. He's That's true. Stupid. I gave, I gave Dre. Thank you. I, I almost just, forgot. I, I gave Dre a freebie. Right. He's not I gave Dre a right. lucky. I had to. All right. Can we go to question number two? Yeah, it took long enough. Wow. That's because of you. I'm sorry. Sixty minute man. That's my All right. <laughs> Hey, the what? wife loves it. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought. Not that kind of 60 minutes. <laughs> no, like Ric Flair, I'm a 60 minute man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. yeah. Give me some of that. Yeah. yeah. What's the next question? All oh, right. Hey, what, are, what is your favorite Survivor Series match? Four on four or five on five? Jerry the Butcher Ishuk, Cleveland, Ohio. My favorite what? Survivor Series Survivor match? Series match. The I'm first not- one. I'm not really a Survivor Series fan. The first one was dope. Was it? So what are you, uh, what are you 14? 13. Ah! Thank you, sir. I, you shut up. Come on, give me some. No, 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 no. Why'd what you both say what are my 14th at the yeah. same time? Because it just, it is what it is. Dope is what I use. 14-year-olds don't use that's, it anymore. That, that's so retro. That's no lit. Sense. Oh, sorry. That's lit. I say rap. You're, 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 you're right. right. Dope sounds a lot better than lit. Hey. Lit. Lit. <laughs> So, like, my phone's on fire now, I guess. For uh, Survivor Series? Yeah. Th- didn't one time uh, Ric Flair come in first and he stayed all through the whole thing? That would have been Royal Rumble. Yeah. He came in third and stayed for the whole thing. He was a sixth yeah. in there. Yeah. Only, I think there was only one person. That's close that enough. Came in first and won the whole thing. Who was it? Was it two? Ben Wall was one of them. Ben Wall, and then Shawn Michaels. Michaels. Ben Wall, and the, yeah, the other one. I think there's a third. But we don't, one. we don't talk, about, we don't talk yeah. about the second one. I'm Did you guys, you guys, so you're not a Survivor Series guy? Yeah, you? I'm not a Survivor Series. Well, it's not really. I mean, actually, it was a Survivor Series. I know I might get some heat for this one, but I was a young kid at the time, and seeing WWF versus WCW was a big deal to me. So when I saw Team WCW versus Team or Team Alliance, I guess is what they called themselves right. versus yeah. Team WWF. <laughs> I was pretty excited about that. I won't lie. So that might be my favorite one if I had it's to It's kind of funny one. that you say that because the after party I was talking about that I was at mm-hmm. was actually the um, the day after it was announced that they bought WCW. WCW and it was it was in Detroit, Michigan at the Marriott because that's where they, they stayed. I was invited to go there because when I was I, – I was cop tickets to both the day they bought – they bought uh, – they, I was doing a show called Pro Wrestling Weekly for those that don't know. Um, I was on the, uh, I was there for the day they bought it, the Monday night intro or the Monday night, uh, raw. And I was supposed, I, I was on the very highest seats, the worst seats you can get. And I didn't understand why I was comped free tickets for the worst seat in the house. Bob Uker th- over there. Okay. And then listen, then I find out I wasn't supposed I, the tickets were to get in the door. Then I was supposed to go to somebody and say, I'm here to interview Mick Foley. And then I was supposed to do an interview with Mick Foley. Now, when I got home, see, back in them days, people, we had what's called answering machines. I got home, and the answer machine, which probably went off five minutes after I left, said, "You were, uh, 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 by the way, when you get there, ask for this person, and they'll let you go inside the locker room. You have an interview set up with Mick Foley, which I never got. Since that came late... They ended up giving me the tickets for the Detroit one and then an invitation uh, for the uh, Marriott for the after party. So hey, I hey, ended up getting hey, to go there. Let's got to play the catch. Let's, let's wrap yeah, this up. Let's go Let's just, just do two questions. No. no. Shut your phone. We hey, we'll he's got to go. How about we do one more last question? Let's go, let's go, let's go quick. Moment. Let's go yeah. quick. Shut Actually, up. let's just have him answer it. Hush. Where, this is easy. Where in the world do you wish you could wrestle? Anywhere that's pain. Anywhere there where the money is. Okay. Honestly, I would love to uh, wrestle in Japan once. That's neat. That's good. Madison Square Garden. That and they have really Madison good ramen. They have really good ramen in Japan. Wow, so, you yeah. know what? That would be a dope one to wrestle right. tonight. But I tell I you mean, where I did for. wrestle. Where? You ready? I'm not kidding. Carnegie Hall. You know, and I did not play the piano. I that's awesome. I wish I could right. wrestle, in, but in, in, it's tore down now. But I wish I could have wrestled in the Dallas Sportatorium. That would yeah. have been my you know, favorite. You know my buddy, uh, Chopper Davidson. Nice one too. Yeah. Remember Chopper? Yeah, Chopper. He yeah. wrestled in the sport of tournament a couple times. Did he really? Yeah. Pretty jealous of him for that one. Yeah. Real quick, Stevie Ray doesn't know the story. I want to hear the story. What story is this? Real quick. Am I going to get in trouble? <clears throat> no. We're always doing the governor story, or, you right. know, or senator, or whatever, congressman. Governor. Congressman. 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 Yeah. 
He there you are. How are you? He doesn't know the the, the 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 story between them two. So can you please tell Stevie Ray the story? Okay. Maybe he'll give you a different appreciation. Uh, all right. Here we. I, I, or I'm, yours. I'm using my props. So what? So one night, I'm taking Jesse Ventura somewhere after his show, and he goes, "Kenny, where are you going tomorrow?" I said, "I got." I love pick, his impressions. Pick, I got to pick up Piper at the airport in Pittsburgh. He goes, Oh, you know what? He's probably going to ask you to stop for a brewski or two on the way home because he's quite the partier. Next day. The next day. Next day. I pick up Piper. Piper. And at the time I was in the uh, running for uh, vice president of a movie union. Okay. And I, he, and I told Piper about it. He goes, so you're, so you're like running for something. I said, yeah, that's great. What is it, Congress? So we get to the place, and he introduces me to everybody. This guy's the congressman around here. But tell him about the brewskis. We did. As soon as we pulled out of there, I said, hey, congressman, hmm. do me a favor. Let's get a six pack. I said, all right. You know what? Let's, let's get two. He had 11, I had one. <laughs> Long story short, he's quite the partier. <laughs> quite the partier, you know. Well, there okay. you go. All right, anyway, we're going to get out of here. Steve Ray, man, it was a pleasure having Always you Always a show. pleasure. Come here, buddy. Oh. Hey, I still almost like you. Come on. All right. Well, this, is, this is good. This is because good. of that story. Hey. I'm going to say it's because of that story. Anyway, for our guest, Steve Ray Pim, of course, Mr. Too Damn Thick. Mean Streak Miles Jacobs. Big six. And, of course, the star yeah. of the show, Ken Sermonera. I am your role model, Rick Leib, saying join us again next week when we have the 2021 Year-End Awards. <gasps> yes! Ah! Next week. Bye, bye, bye. You don't want to be here. See you next week.